Yo, what's going on guys? And today we're talking about Matisse Thibel and Tobias Harris. Shout out Matt Moore of the Action Network for the Tobias Harris news and shout out, I believe, again, take this with a grain of salt if it's from the guy that I do believe. Yes, Jake Fisher reported the uh, Matisse Thibel news, but the Tobias Harris news is from Matt Moore of Action Network. But supposedly Matisse Thibel is being shopped around and Portland Trailblazers and the Dallas Mavericks are the two teams for him while the team's for Tobias Harris is the Sacramento Kings. So let's talk about the Kings. Why do the Kings just seem like a perfect team for Tobias Harris? And it probably would be a deal for our man, Harrison Barnes, okay? So Harrison Barnes is making $18 million. Tobias Harris is making like 35. And Sacramento is actually $20 million under the cap space as of right now. And we expect them to bring back Dante DiVincenzo as that's probably going to be his best offer. So we assume the deal might be Harrison Barnes and Rashawn Holmes for Tobias Harris. That's where the Sixers can get themselves a backup center as well as being able to, you know, inside of, how do you call it? Rashawn Holmes would be the perfect backup center for Joel Embiid. Harrison Barnes can presume the Tobias Harris role and then they have Tobias Harris, DeMontis Sabonis, as their big three with Keegan Murray learning behind Tobias Harris, which is perfect because Keegan Murray is Tobias Harris 2.0, or you can play Keegan Murray at small forward. But yeah, so I think this would be a good deal for the Kings, maybe throw in a few picks to Sweden and over. Like maybe not a few, for, like maybe, I don't even know if you have to throw a first round pick. I say a few second round picks, but I could be undervaluing Tobias Harris. But let's look at the Rockets. How could the Rockets land their man? Matisse Thibel. Okay, Matisse Thibel, obviously, Eric Gordon would be the guy that the Sixers have said they wanted. And maybe we could get them a Matisse Thibel, Eric Gordon trade, but there still needs to be about $15 million created. But if we talk about the deal for Tobias Harris, that would create about $9 million in cap space, which means only $6 million needs to be created for Eric Gordon to come here. So it would probably be a deal where Eric Gordon's attached with, I guess, maybe Sterling Brown. And then you throw in Marquise Chris, and that would make the deal work. And then they waive, you know, Marquise Chris and our guy Sterling Brown. Or they could do Sterling Brown, Waba, and Eric Gordon for Matisse Thibel. No picks involved, and that would work. And do a three-team trade where you see Harrison Barnes and Eric Gordon and Rishon Home come to the Sixers. You send Harris, not Harris Barnes, Tobias Harris to the Sacramento Kings, and you send Matisse Thibel to the rockets and then there's also the mavericks that if we keep that framework of a three-team trade in we could see the mavericks do hmm, hmm, hmm. i guess the mavericks i don't know who they would want i because yeah i think the rockets is the better deal i wouldn't go for anything the mavericks could offer because the mavericks would either offer like a dwight powell I doubt they'd offer Reggie Bullock. I doubt they uh, – well, maybe Maxi Kleba or Josh Green, but it's really hard to see who they would go for because I don't know who's the right guy. So I want to hear your thoughts down below. And, like, who would you guys go after? I think it's definitely an interesting situation that they're in. But, again, this is all all rumors. We don't know what the hell will happen or why will happen. That's the NBA for you all, but – Again, I do want to hear those opinions. Your opinions are so important to me because it's what we like. I love the discussions we have here because it really does make things pretty interesting, in my opinion. And yeah, so let me hear your thoughts down below. Go check out my NFL and NBA show that we post daily. So go check it out. I